Guess what we making today, y'all? Hot water cornbread. You ever had what hot water cornbread? Or y'all want to learn how to make it? All you need is two ingredients. You, that's right. One, two. Two ingredients for hot water cornbread. My husband, he's from the south, from Ruston, Louisiana. And they like to eat southern food. <laughs> but we're gonna make hot water cornbread today. Today, Cowboys playing Miami and the Cowboys are winning. So today is gonna be a good day. Alright, I got my whole dinner already ready. I got collard greens. I put a roast in the oven with uh, onions, potatoes, carrots, celery. Oh, and rice. The last thing we need to make is hot water cornbread. So we're gonna measure it out. I usually don't measure, I just usually just go by eyesight, but we're gonna measure it today. All right, let's see how much we're gonna need. We're gonna start off with one cup. Let's see how that looks. Oh, uh, maybe two cups. I'm eating some too. Two cups, that's good. Two cups, okay? So if you see the front of the bag, it says flour, salt, and baking powder already blended in. So that's why you don't need to add anything else. It already has everything in it that you need. So we're going to use this. And guess what else you use? The trick to it is hot water. All right, where my damn spoon go? So I usually don't measure the water either because I just go by the consistency. But so far, this is two cups. Let's see how much we're gonna, we're gonna start out with one cup. It's a half a cup I poured in. So far, there's one cup. Let's see how it looks. See if we're going to need to add some more water. Oh, yeah, we need more water. It's not ready yet. Almost. We just need a little bit more. Just a little bit more. It's almost there. The water has to soak in. So, oh shoot! Let me put my grease on. Oh, it's a little hot. We gonna turn it on. Let it get hot. Should put that on before I start it. Trying to run my mouth. But anyway. We're going to add just a little bit more. We want it thick, but not this thick. We just add a little bit more. And this is the two ingredients. The self-rising cornmeal that I showed y'all and hot water. And that is what's going to make the hot water cornbread. We're going to mix that up real good. Can y'all see it? We add a little bit more water. getting hot already it was already it was next to an eye that was already hot so that's why it's getting hot already okay, but we want to make sure it's really hot but anyway I use vegetable oil that's what we're gonna fry these hot water cornbreads in so you don't have to turn that oven on to make this hot water to make cornbread just use your skillet, top of the stove. So you can see it's a little bit more wetter. See that? We have to, we're gonna have to form our balls. 
or patties, balls, or wherever you want to eat it. And it's up to you. See that? Okay. You're still going to be able to make a patty. So now that we got it where we want it, uh, just remember this water was hot. That's why it's called hot water cornbread. So that's why right here, I have cold water. That's for if your hot water cornbread is too hot, you could cool your hands off in the cold water. So y'all know I just started my YouTube channel. I don't even know if I got any followers. I know my husband, he better be following. I made him follow me. <laughs> he would have followed me anyway when I made him go in there. But anyway, I want to share some recipes with y'all. Some quick and easy recipes. I don't, I don't like that stuff that's too complicated. So I'm gonna share some easy recipes with y'all like this. This is easy. Put it with y'all greens, y'all beans. If y'all just wanna eat it by itself, you can. But I wanna, on my page, I wanna share some recipes. Um, we're gonna talk grown folks talk. I don't know, maybe I might do some hair stuff too. I might do some hair, hair, some hair videos. I'm, I'm not quite sure yet. But nothing too big. You just having a little fun. That's y'all. All right. So this grease, it didn't take long for this grease to get hot. Get started. We're gonna get started with this hot water cornbread and putting it in. You can do like this and see if it's. Ooh, you hear that? Oh, I'll play a few more minutes. But anyway, how about them cowboys? They didn't want three that. Well, they ain't, this game ain't over yet. It's still going on, but I'm gonna call it. They ain't winning three to zero. They up three games so far. <laughs> Since I moved here to Texas, I fell in love with the cowboy. I don't know why, but I like the cowboys. So I'm a root for them every time. Win or lose. It's all about the sport. All right. I think this good. Oh, yeah, it's smoking. All right, so here we go. Whatever size you want, that's how you form your patties. So this hot, this water was hot when I put it in here, and that wasn't that long ago. But now it really ain't too hot. So I should be able to put it in my hand. But anyway, see that? See how the patty stayed together? Woo! You, know, you can just drop it in there if you're not afraid of the grease. This is the last thing I got to cook today. And my husband, he ain't ate all day. He up there watching the game. And I know he hungry. Ooh! Don't burn yourself now. Don't burn yourself. I ain't trying to burn myself. But well, anyway, you get the water just in case. Just on standby. See how the patty's not sticking to your hand? So you want to make sure you get that kind of consistency. So you don't want to stick it to your hand. You about to be eating soon. However you want to make them flat, round, make some balls. Just form them. Make 
sure you don't burn yourself. So kind of get close to the grease. That was too big. So that's all it is. Two ingredients to make this hot water cornbread. If y'all ain't never had none or you want to see how they puffing up because everything is already in there. All the flour, baking powder. I think that's what it said. Yeah, baking powder is already in there. I'm going to try to get all these in there. But I should be hurrying up so they all can be done at the same time. I like mine hot. I don't know about y'all. I like my food hot. Right out the grease. I'm going to be burning. And I'm still going to eat. Well, anyway, this one is a little big. We're going to try to get them in there anyway. See, these other ones are already almost done. Hold on. Let me rinse my hands. You can use this water to rinse your hands, too. If you need to. You can close it back. But hold on. Let me get something so I can turn these over, okay? Everything right here. You got a close little kitchen. Look at that. They already started browning. I gotta make some room for the other ones. I might be able to get one in there. Oh, I might be able to get one more in there. One more in there. At least one more. We can't let this go to waste. Get in there. Voila! Two ingredients for hot water cornbread. I'm sure I said it once already, but that is vegetable oil. We're gonna use best, we're using vegetable oil today. I don't know if y'all hear what I'm listening to, but it is an old episode of Housewives of Atlanta. With these women arguing and fighting. These women got all this money. Why are y'all arguing and fighting? I don't understand it. My husband, he don't like for me to watch it. Who don't like a little drama? As long as you ain't in it. I'm okay with it. I'm really not okay with it. I don't like women fighting. I don't like women fighting and bickering. No no woman. Especially y'all got all this money. There's no reason. Spend your money, go shopping, and be happy. Give me the money. I ain't fighting with nobody crazy show. But anyway, y'all see how it's browning up? <laughs> Just how I like it. Brown. Dark. Oh, look at those balls. They turned out pretty good. I never did the balls. Y'all get to see me do the balls the first time. Hot water cornbread. See there? No need for the oven. So now that I got a roast cooking and the potatoes, carrots, and celery, 
and everything is together. The roast, we put y'all wondering what I'm eating. Some of y'all know that I went vegan about four months ago. But, hey, I can't stop cooking for my husband and he ain't going vegan. <laughs> he definitely ain't going vegan. So I still have to cook for him. I still cook all his meals. So just because I went vegan, that don't eliminate me from cooking his food. Ooh, that look crispy. I'm going to show y'all what he eating today, too. I know y'all like that. And I'm going to show y'all what I'm eating, too. Look at that. cornbread. You can make them smaller, bigger. You can make these balls too. Look how they turning out. This one can come out too. I know me and my husband just got married about two weeks ago. <laughs> and, well, we've been together, together for two years already, living together for two years, doing everything together. So we was like common law already. Because in Texas, they have a law, it's called common law marriage. If you live together, you have um, bank accounts together, you have the same address. So we was already considered married, but now we married for real on paper. All right, I think they all ready. Look at that. But anyway, what I was getting to was my ring, the one we got married, which I've been wearing it for maybe almost a year now. The big ring that you get the engagement ring. Um, when we got married, it come with a smaller ring. So I had to send that in so it could get soldered together. So now I'm wearing the ring that came off this finger is over here now. Until my other ring come back. Because when, when you got those two rings, they keep slipping and sliding and rolling around. I'm like, uh-uh. You need to put these rings together. I never thought about that when we bought them. Now I'm getting them put together so they won't be slipping and sliding all over the place. But anyway, look at those. I gotta take this grease off of here because I'm gonna burn the house down. Okay. All right, that's all done. Can y'all see how those turned out? Turn it off. Ooh. Hot water cornbread. It look good, don't it? I told y'all as <laughs> soon as it come out. Let me try the first one that came out so y'all can see 
and look inside of it. I think this is the first one that came out. Is it? It might be. But anyway, see? Hot water cornbread. I'm going to try it. Once you eat one of these, you ain't gonna make no jiffy. I My husband, he don't eat jiffy. It's too sweet anyway. But I think I got a box of jiffy that's in the cabinet. It ain't gonna never get cooked. Alright, all my eyes are off. Mmm, that's good. I hear a crunchy in here. So make it as crunchy as y'all want to. And anyway, here we go. Hot water cornbread. Y'all want to see how the little ball turned out? Oh, shoot. You didn't tell me that was hot. That one just came out. That one ain't quite ready to break open. But I'm going to show y'all what my husband having for dinner. But I'm going to eat this one too. Mmm. You see, the inside is like cornbread. It's not mushy. Mmm. Not mushy. You see it? I ain't figured out how to work this camera yet, so right now I'm just practicing till I get better or till I get somebody to show me how to work it. But I just want to share some things with y'all. Like this. Hot water cornbread. Two ingredients. But let me show y'all what my husband having for dinner. So I put the roast on this morning. I put the roast on this morning. Right when I got up about 6 o'clock. Well, I let it, first I let it thaw out overnight. Then I put it on about 6 o'clock in the morning. Because I had some errands to run. So I put it on about 250. And let it cook. And let it slow cook. So this is the roast. Well, here is my dinner right here. Y'all see? Zucchini and onions. Yeah, that's what I like. But this is what he having. Y'all see that? Can y'all see that? He got a roast with onions, potatoes, carrots, celery. This will last him the whole week. So I cook it up on Sunday. And guess what he's going to do? He's going to eat on it all week. And then I got some collard greens with neck bones. Can y'all see that? The kind of greens with the neck bones. That's for him. And then he wanted some rice too. He like rice. He really don't like the potatoes. But I'm going to change it up a little bit for him. But anyway, this is what he having for dinner. I'm sure he can't wait to eat. So I'm about to fix his food. Do y'all want to stay with me while I fix his food? with me. Now, you know what I forgot to make? Man, I was going to make them some iced tea. I forgot. Ooh, but guess what he got in here? These are the ones I had. 
when I was doing my keto diet. But he still like it even though it's diet. <laughs> he don't care. <laughs> and everything. I was just planning on making this with the grain and the cornbread. And he said, oh, well, some rice too? I said, okay. Alright. How are we going to do this? Y'all know how to make good fluffy rice? Look at there. The trick to making good rice is stirring it. You gotta keep stirring it while it's cooking. Stir it, stir it so it can evenly cook. Then once you get it just about right, you rinse it off. I like to rinse my rice. You rinse it and then you put it back in the pot and let it cook a little bit more. See how the steam cooks it? But anyway. Maybe I'll show y'all how to make some good rice. I ain't gonna give him too much rice because he already got all those potatoes. But let me tell you, he like to eat. Oh, I think I hear him now. Oh, here he come. You got some smelt the food cooking. <laughs> you smelt the food cooking. Get him some greens on this plate. And this cornbread in this time. These greens just got done too. Get some of that juice off of there. We don't want this plate running with juices. And I'm gonna put the collard greens next to the potatoes. Oh, I gotta get him a neck bone in there. I had this in there. No. Yeah, he loves some greens. I know that much. All right, that's enough for itself. And guess what else we gonna put on now? This towel don't keep falling. You know the star party. Your hot water cornbread. Two of them. He might come back for another one. But this is his dinner. Y'all see what he eating? See that hot water cornbread? You might need some salt for that rice. But anyway, that's what he eating. I hope y'all eating something good today. I'm going to go and see if the cowboy is still playing. So I can watch the rest of the game. my honey and that's it don't forget two ingredient hot water cornbread but I want to show y'all what it was going with it and that's his dinner right there all right let me go feed it to him while it's hot all right I'll see y'all later I want to show y'all how to make that hot water cornbread so I hope y'all enjoyed me making it and showing y'all how to prepare I uh, prepare my dinner for my husband. Okay. Okay. All right. See y'all later. All right. Bye.